I want to read you guys the reason why I was working out specifically today. Good morning, guys. And then I can go like this, what? since I didn't do a time lapse of me folding the laundry, oh. which is sometimes kind of fun to watch. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I, I really enjoy watching your time lapses. Like Do you? Yesterday's vlog, I, I was editing and watching you chop all the vegetables. It was very colorful. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to bring fun. some color into your life. Yeah, anyways, good morning guys and welcome to another week in the fry life. I feel like our life has been... Excuse me, can you go out? <laughs> Sorry, apparently I'm not supposed to vlog in the bathroom. I'm uh, in the bathroom! <laughs> oh man, I feel like with our Chicago trip and I think gearing up for that and then coming home from that, there was just like... A month of not feeling settled and now I feel like we're settled back into a rhythm it's Monday and I had a meeting for lunch and came home edited the vlog and Mary's gonna go hang out with a friend I think they're gonna do some shopping and I am going to run I got to pick up some prescriptions from the pharmacy and I'm gonna stay out and get a little bit of work done yeah so that's what's going on here today. The animals are, well, I'll show you what Harry's doing right now. Are you drinking out of your little toilet? He is very interested in the camera whenever I come down. <laughs> Ollie wants to come to say hi too. Hi buddy. Do you like drinking out of the toilet too? They both do. And yesterday, guys, I don't know. If you guys don't follow Mary on Instagram, you need to follow Mary. But yesterday, she posted these two were sleeping or laying together, and it was so cute. Hey guys, I just got home. I was supposed to take you guys with me. Oh no, light went out. Uh, I was gonna take you guys with me. I went, ran errands, and then sat at a coffee shop and worked on writing, and I forgot I had the camera with me, but I'm home now. Mary's still out, um, and Ollie's been holding the fort down. I'm back now, Peter's back now. Hey, hey. Baby's back, back, hey, back, 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 okay. So we're gonna have some salad. Salad, 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 salad. Goodness, how are you two doing? They're just sitting there so cute. Harry, hi. What are you gonna get, Ollie? Oh, Ollie! Oh. <laughs> From here, it looks like he's gonna lay on it. <laughs> it's a cold, rainy day. Anybody in the mood for some nice, warm soup? Yes. Come look at it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's some nice soup you got there. Nice, warm soup. Voila! And just like that, soup. I used those noodles we got at Aldi the other day. It looks delicious. Hey, that de like defrosted way quicker than I thought. I froze some slices of our homemade bread because it goes stale really quickly. So I froze it and then I just revived it in the toaster oven and put some butter on it. I want to read you guys the reason why I was working out specifically today. My brother-in-law, Jonathan, wrote on his Instagram, Jimmy was born on October 10th, 1986 and passed away on Thursday, February 24th, 2011. He was an organ donor and his lungs went to my wife, Rachel, who needed them due to her cystic fibrosis. 
CF is a genetic disease that affects the entire body, but especially the lungs. Jimmy's decision to become an organ donor saved Rachel's life. It would mean a lot to us if you could do this workout sometime this week in his honor. And if you are not registered to be an organ donor yet, it only takes a second to do so at organdonor.gov. A couple of, uh, about a week ago was organ donor, like National Organ Donor Recognition Day. And it is, it is something that sits really deep and meaningful to my family because because of Jimmy's decision to be an organ donor when he died they were able to take his lungs and give them to Rachel and now Rachel has celebrated nine years of life that wouldn't have been without her lung transplant and so in Jimmy's honor I worked out and I'm just feeling really, really grateful. So thank you to those of you who are signed up to be organ donors, to those of you who have had family members who have passed away and who have donated their organs. Thank you guys. I'm so thankful my weight has been stable lately and I haven't needed to use my J-tube for overnight feeds or feeds at all lately, um, but I do use it every day. I flush it every day and I also use it for medication as you see here. And uh, it's also such a great peace of mind because I know that if I you know, catch another cold or something that makes me really sick really quickly, that we have this tool. If I'm not able to eat or if I'm on antibiotics, I'm just grateful that I have it. But I'm also really grateful that I haven't needed to use it for feeds lately. Here's our family. Got a drinking poodle, jumping cat. Medicine taking Mary, and what am I? You are the man of the house. Man of the house. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, I feel like I might be starting with a cold, but I'm hoping not. I'm drinking a lot of water and took my vitamins, and hopefully. I don't get sick and hopefully Mary doesn't get sick, but we were around a lot of people this weekend, so it's kind of one of those things, but anyways. Yep, we'll see. We'll deal with it. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Ollie boy. We'll see you tomorrow.